All right, you've probably heard of some people doing like a salt and water load followed by a water depletion and salt depletion. Now basically what it is, and I'm in a sodium and water deficit, I'm actually just now onto my rebound, but the difference is you can see it cuts and it takes that excess water between your skin and your muscle. And so if you have very good muscle and there is water that's being retained between the muscle and the skin, it's gonna pull the package nice and tight together. Kind of like if you were to dehydrate meat and you were to make beef jerky, right? So as soon as you suck out the water, that big chunk of meat becomes this nice, well, becomes a very lean, rough muscle tissue, right? And so the way that we do this is six days prior, so usually a photo shoot is on a Saturday, at, on Sunday is when you're going to salt and you're going to water load, right? So if you normally drink three liters of water, then on a Sunday you would drink about five liters of water and then you would start to eat sodium rich foods, right? And it's actually not that eat that, that hard. If you look at uh, rice, so if you buy Uncle Ben's instant rice, if you get the fried rice, it's 1200 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is quite a bit because most people are only consuming about two to 3,000 milligrams of sodium. And uh, the Uncle Ben's basmatic rice is only 20 milligrams of sodium per serving. So it's a huge jump. You can add pickles. Some people salt their food. They put Tabasco sauce on their food. But either way, you would pretty much want to double the amount of sodium that you consume on a regular basis. And like I said, most people are consuming about 2,000 to 3,000. You might go up to four, maybe you'd up to 5,000 milligrams of sodium, and you'd go up to about five liters of water on days Sunday and Monday before the shoot. Now what we want to do is create a, we don't want to create a deficit of water. Uh, we still want to maintain our normal sodium levels on the Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's at this time your body is going to be like, okay, I'm getting in too much water, getting in too much salt. I've already consumed a ton two days ago, and it looks like I'm going to have no shortage of water or no shortage of sodium. And so your body's always going to try and find a way to create equilibrium. So what happens in that phase is that you're consuming normal water. So we go back to three and we're consuming no normal sodium. So it might be like 2000 milligrams or less. And what's happening is your body's like, okay, I had a lot up here. I'm okay here. So what I need to do is push me down here. Okay. I need to start flushing out some of that water, start flushing out some of that sodium so that I can just get me back to normal, right? Your body always kind of overproduces. It's like if you ever sprain something, you sprain your ankle, you sprain your finger or something, what ends up happening is your body creates inflammation. It overreacts to a stimulus. And so the same, same reaction is going to happen here. So as you're consuming the normal, it's going to take that water and sodium and it's going to start to flush. You're going to notice that you're going to pee more in your day three and day four. And then by day five, which is usually the Thursday, we're basically going to limit as much water as possible. So we're gonna cut you down from three liters and we're gonna cut you down to about a liter, liter and a half, maybe two liters. And again, no sodium so that your body's further pushing it out. And then 24 hours prior, we basically wanna cut out all water, right? Because you had it high up here, we have it low down here, and then your body is still flushing, 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 because you're still getting some water in, in the couple days prior, so like the Thursday and the Wednesday. And then by Friday, prior to your photo shoot, about 24 hours prior to your photo shoot, we basically want to have none. Now you want to have small sips. You don't want to pass out. Death is not an option. This isn't a game breaker. It's only kind of like the icing on the cake. So it just finishes up your, your challenge or whatever it is that you're doing, and it's going to give you that last little bit of results. So that's what a water cut is at yeah, Fit Club.